Behind the scenes of an investigation, you see how arrests are made and shootings on the news, but you never really get a close-up look at the work that goes into making those arrests and solving the cases. And now that work is being taken to a new level by combining two technologies. Our Alicia Palumbo joins us with the details here. Alicia. Well, LaToya and Mike, Boston police say they started up a real-time crime center two and a half years ago to tie together all their technology capabilities. Recently, they began working with the probation department when there's a shooting to pinpoint probationers and parolees wearing a GPS monitoring bracelet in the area. About a week ago, probation officials gave them access to their system directly so police can essentially map out where those people may be in relation to a shooting. In exchange of gunfire on the streets of Boston, police are on the scene within a matter of minutes, but their investigation began before they even arrived. Thanks to this shot spotter detection system and these street cameras monitored here in the Boston Police Real Time Crime Center. Shot spotter and the camera system talk to each other, so if there's a shots fired incident, the closest camera will turn towards that incident for about a minute to give us a chance of seeing anybody going to or from the incident. In that shooting, the shot spotter technology was their ears, the surveillance cameras were their eyes, and now they have the technology at their fingertips to track down anyone in the area who's wearing a GPS monitoring bracelet. And what that does is it allows us to identify a possible victim, a possible suspect, possible witness. Superintendent Paul Fitzgerald said the department got the ability to access the GPS data just last week and with more than 1,800 people on probation or parole in the city, that can help police zero in on a potential suspect or rule out someone with a record. We've had shooting cases, serious shooting cases uh, in which names have surfaced and, uh, and the GPS data showed that they weren't at that scene and we move on. We've had very serious shooting cases where GPS data shows that individuals were at the scene and, and in some cases have been arrested you know, for those shootings. There can be good things about the use of these technologies, but there are also really serious pitfalls. Matthew Siegel with the American Civil Liberties Union of Massachusetts said the ACLU's concerns are what police might use this technology for in the future, especially since most people already have a GPS tracker on them in the form of their cell phone. This type of technology isn't going to be limited, can't be limited to uh, just probationers and parolees. Police say the department is just trying to use all the tools available to solve crimes. We're using technology to help us do our job better. Now, Superintendent Fitzgerald says right now the intelligence analysts in the real-time crime center have to manually search probationers or parolees by the category of their offense. He says the plan in the future is to tie it into their system so it automatically pops up GPS bracelets in a certain radius of a shooting. LaToya? This is unbelievable. All right, Alicia Palumbo, thanks so much.